introductions of the All-Stars. Let's go to the public address announcer, David Axelson. Ladies and gentlemen, the 1990 NBA Western Conference All-Stars. Playing in his third NBA All-Star game, the high-scoring forward from the Phoenix Suns and MVP of the 1987 All-Star game, Tom Chambers. One of the leading scorers in the NBA for the past four seasons, playing in his fourth All-Star game from the Portland Trailblazers, Clyde Drexler. <laughs> Making his All-Star debut, the winner of the American Airlines NBA Most Improved Player Award last season from the Phoenix Suns, Kevin Johnson. One of the best rebounding guards in the NBA, as well as a gifted scorer and passer, playing in his second All-Star game from the Denver Nuggets, Lafayette Fat Lever. <laughs> playing in his second All-Star game, one of the league leaders in scoring, field goal percentage, and the three-point shooting from the Golden State Warriors, Chris Mullen. The only rookie in this year's All-Star game, he has quickly helped his team become a power in the Western Conference, one of the NBA leaders in scoring, rebounding, and block shots from the San Antonio Spurs, David Robinson. <laughs> Playing his fourth NBA All-Star game, this is a nine-year backcourt veteran has long been considered one of the best shooting guards in the NBA. He is also one of the most accurate as well, with a career field goal percentage of over 50% from the Dallas Mavericks, Rolando Blackman. <laughs> Elected to the Western Conference All-Star team, but unable to play due to injury, Carl Malone of the Utah Jazz. Now the starting lineup for the Western Conference is selected by fans in the Miller Lite NBA All-Star voting program. At forward, making his fifth consecutive All-Star game appearance, the leading scorer from the Los Angeles Lakers, James Worthy. Also from the Lakers, the team's leading rebounder for the past three seasons and one of the league's top defensive players, appearing in his first All-Star game, A.C. Green. At center, a six-time All-Star who leads the NBA in rebounding and block shots and is also among the league leaders in scoring and steals from the Houston Rockets, Akeem Olajuwon. The only man in NBA history to record more than 1,000 assists in two seasons. He currently is leading the league in assists and steals once again, playing in his second All-Star game from the Utah Jazz, John Stockton. Appearing in his 10th All-Star game, last season's Edge, NBA Most Valuable Player, and the all-time leader in assists in All-Star Game competition from the Los Angeles Lakers, Urban Magic Johnson. <laughs> Traded to the West Side, the San Antonio Spurs, John Anderson. The assistant coaches from the Los Angeles Lakers, Bill Burka, Randy Fun, and Jim Ayak. And the head coach of the Western Conference All-Stars from the Los Angeles Lakers, Pat Riley. And now the Eastern Conference All-Stars, playing his first All-Star game, the most valuable player of the 1989 NBA playoffs from the NBA champion Detroit Pistons, Joe Dumars. One of the top defensive forwards in the league, as well as a prolific scorer, playing in his sixth All-Star game from the Boston Celtics, Kevin McHale. <laughs> this guard has emerged as one of the top scorers and outside shooters in the NBA, making his first All-Star game appearance from the Indiana Pacers, Reggie Miller. A 14-year veteran who remains one of the steadiest, most productive centers in the NBA, playing in his eighth All-Star game from the Boston Celtics, Robert Parrish.
one of the top young forwards in the league. He has emerged as both a talented scorer and rebounder, making his all-star debut from the Chicago Bulls, Scotty Pippen. One of the league's premier sixth men, he led the NBA in field goal percentage last season and also was one of the NBA's all-defensive team from the Detroit Pistons, Dennis Rodman. And his fifth consecutive all-star game, one of the league's most exciting and acrobatic players from the Atlanta Hawks, Dominique Wilkins. Brings, playing in his 10th NBA All-Star game from the Boston Celtics, Larry Bird. <laughs> Appearing in his fourth All-Star game, one of the league's leading scorers and rebounders and the NBA leader in field goal percentage from the Philadelphia 76ers, Charles Barkley. At center, he ranks high among the NBA leaders in scoring, rebounding, and blocked shots, making his first start in four All-Star appearances from the New York Knicks, Patrick Ewing. An All-Star in each of his nine seasons, the career All-Star leader in steals and three-pointers from the defending NBA champion Detroit Pistons, Isaiah Thomas. This year, a leading vote getter in the Miller Light NBA All Star Ballot from the Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan. <laughs> Trainer for the East team for the Miami Heat, Ron Culp. The assistant coaches from the Detroit Pistons, Brendan Malone and Brendan Sir. And the head coach for the Eastern Conference All Stars from the Detroit Pistons, Chuck Daly. The West won last year. 143 to 134, it wasn't as close as the score indicated in Houston, and since 1984, the East and West UB have won an alternate year, so we'll see if the West can make it two in a row. Should be a great one. The East is in white, the West is in the dark uniforms, they're red. Hakeem Olajuwon will jump against Patrick Ewing. See some unusual numbers worn by some of the players. Ewing, for example, wearing number three. There are three players on the East who wear 33, Larry Bird, Scotty Pippen, and Ewing. Birds has seniority. Underway controlled by the West. Well, early we should look for the players to stay within a few basic set plays, but the game primarily will be up tempo freelance. Elijah Wan gets the rebound on Worthy's miss. James Worthy with the ball. Magic Johnson and John Stockton at guard. We don't know how long Stockton will play. He's been really bothered by the virus. Hospitalized during the week. It is still in the possession of the West, and they have nine seconds to try a shot. And usually the beginning of these games, we see if there's any sloppiness, we see it early on. Well, they only get an opportunity to practice for one hour, and half of it is uh, shooting practice. So they go with their instincts today, Dick. Good defense by Ewing on Elijah Wan. Two of the great centers in the NBA. Now Larry Bird fakes a three. How about that for instincts? Freelance. <laughs> the master at the head fake. Uh, very limited quickness with the feet, but Magic Rosen will get credit for the basket goaltending call against Patrick Ewing. We're seeing some high wire acts already defensively, like nobody is gonna play defense here today, but we seem to have some erasers. Well, Dennis Rodman says, I want to turn this into a defensive game, and we'll see him come off the bench for the East. Triple team on short, blind pass thrown away. Three men were around Michael Jordan. Here's AC Green. Barkley clears. Larry Bird played only six games last year with his surgery. And an offensive foul called against Charles Barkley. <laughs> On the screen play, you'll see Jordan come around the pick, catch the ball. But watch Barkley now. See, he stopped moving. If he would have continued, he had a dunk. I don't even know whether the regular Chicago Bulls team would have gotten that fast. <laughs> Worthy inside again. Elijah won. Here's 
Stockton driving the baseline and lays it in. John Stockton, who leads the NBA in assists and steals. Thomas puts it up against the double team. Two times he's won the MVP in this game. World champion Ronnie Lott. You know, we saw Ronnie Lott in the stands, and Lott said after the Super Bowl win by the 49ers how much he has looked upon the Lakers' domination to spur on himself and the Niners. Well, what did Al Davis in football say about Magic Johnson? There is no player that dominates professional sports as a winner more than Magic Johnson. Hey. Team looking for help throws it into the hands of Barkley. Here's a three on two. Patrick's been tough. Magic starts to break the other way, and the East better get down in a hurry. Oh. Worthy. Patrick wants to win the MVP award by getting 90 rebounds in the first quarter. <laughs> I'd say he's been on three <laughs> shot blocks. He's running from end to end, and he is skying for the loose ball. New 24 second clock on the kick ball. Three members of the Lakers in the West lineup. Bird, Magic the rebound. Stockton filling the lane is a key behind you on. No foul, Barkley was defending on the play. Great block by Charles. Came a long way. Isaiah, everything but the basket with a good move. Stockton gets by Bird. Here's Magic, goes for three. And he's got it, and it's now seven to two in favor of the West. Well, for people who really aren't zeroed in on Magic, that's his new shot. Oh, that's Jordan's new shot, too, Hubert. Well, a little too shade that time. <laughs> and Michael has a smile, and yeah, he says to Magic, you going to try it again? <laughs> A.C. Green <laughs> rims the hoop. Ewing with another rebound. Barkley one on one against AC Green. His way in, gets the basket and draws the foul. Gives you an example of how tough Philadelphia has been because of that play. Well, you'll see right now Charles. Charles is excellent with a lot of moves. Not so notice how he moves his body right into the chest of AC Green. Charles Barkley. And you'll see Charles. Watch Charles come in here now and block this shot on Elijah one. Now, you know, people look at Charles, they know he's 6'5", he's 253 pounds, and the people have a tendency to underestimate how high he can elevate, especially when he wants to block a shot. You know, Jimmy Lynham said, everyone talks about Ewing and Magic and Jordan MVPs, and what about Charles Barkley? You can just put down 30 and 10 each game. No foul, Worthy looked to Billy Oaks, they said he got a piece of the ball. Who's that guy three who got another shot block? Now let's Ewing offensively. Boy, the East has missed a East bubble ball. of inside shots, but look at Patrick inside. Excellent move by James now, going to the basket. Here comes Patrick. There it is. Patrick Ewing Patrick. hits the shot outside. And the East leads 10 to 7. Two rebounds and two block shots already for Patrick Ewing. You have to keep an eye on Stockton today because he is very weak. From the flu. Green fighting for the offensive rebound. Larry Bird. Jordan. Good move around Magic. Great pass to Barkley. Lost the ball on the line. And they'll give it over to the East. Outstanding defensive play by Stockton. Watch, here comes the here comes the pass now. Now watch the strip right there. John Stockton coming in. Fearless, by the way, and taking on Barkley. Here's Michael Jordan. Gets the ball back. Elijah Wan got a piece of it. Are they going to call Akeem, or is it Magic with a foul on Patrick Ewing? Chuck Daly's enjoying his first All-Star game in this first quarter action. It's on Elijah Wan. Now watch the attack by Elijah Wan right here. The people in the building are thoroughly enjoying the opening of this game because we have seen a number of shots he raised and quite a few fadeaway jump shots because of the fear of the intimidation. The first New York Nick to start an All-Star game since Bob McAdoo back in 1977. And he has become the focal point of the New York Knicks. 
Magic and Jordan with a little banter out in the backcourt. Well, Patrick is physically fit, 100%. The last couple of years, for the first time in his career, people forget the first two years, a number of operations on the knees, and it really hampered his play. Lead is five for the East with 7-10 to go and a turnover. Ewing, though, can't save it. In a situation like that, there's a, an example of two players who have never played together before. Stockton is coming off that pick and roll. His first look is to give it up on the roll man. A.C. Green was trying to hold on to that pick a little too long. The East has scored 10 straight points. Nearly five minutes elapsed in the opening quarter. Worthy. And nowhere to go with it, and it's the shot over Larry Bird. Now that breaks a 10-point run by the Eastern All-Star. Barkley on top. Worthy gambled. Isaiah Thomas. Right place Isaiah Thomas. Thomas. Look out. Out of bounds, and it'll go over to the East. And a timeout. One of the most briskly paced All-Star games that we have seen in the last five or six years. And we'll be back. Kim Olajuwon leads the NBA in those categories, and it's uh, been tougher lately. He knows what it's like to play for an NBA Finals, but Houston has fallen back since those days. Well, he's been outspoken, and it's getting uh, notoriety over the fact that, you know, he might want to be traded, but I think that Houston is going to handle all of that. Stockton is guarding Thomas. Ewing looking to set a screen outside. It drops for Isaiah. Isaiah. All of the, before the five, East team uh, players have uh, scored with the exception of Larry Bird. No substitutions yet. Everyone's going to get a lot of chances to play. Jordan gets the block. And Magic smartly went down court to make sure that Michael wouldn't release for the easy layup. But it's going to be East ball uh, anyway. And uh, now we have some uh, reinforcements. Kevin McHale of the Boston Celtics. Joe Dumars of the Detroit Pistons. And Robert Parrish come in. Barkley and Ewing go out, along with Isaiah Thomas. So two Celtics have come in the game, McHale and Parrish. Magic with a great finish to Elijah Wan, and he's fouled. Right now, let's go over to Leslie Visser. Let's... Uh, uh, Dick and Hubie, a, a little while ago, Akeem Olajuwon made noises about wanting to be traded. He wants to play for a champion. He's not sure it's going to happen in Houston. He also looks across the state and he sees that the San Antonio Spurs made wholesale changes for David Robinson. While it isn't likely that Houston's going to trade him, hey, it's happened to great men before. Wilt and Kareem were both traded in their careers. And you know, Leslie, uh, Clyde Drexler was a guy who was uh, rumored to be involved in a trade somewhat, but now that Portland's playing so well, you don't hear that. One of the answers by a player was, I think that he's trying to renegotiate his contract. <laughs> That's always the bottom line on those. Things. Bird tipped away by Worthy on the turnover. Tom Chambers in the game for the West. He came in with Drexler. Elijah Wan, Harris the rebound. Early on, the coaches are trying to get in as many players as possible in that first quarter, and they'll keep moving things around in the last quarter, try to find the five best. Michael Michael Jordan. Jordan. I have a hunch Michael will be in there at the end, don't you? Uh, maybe so. I, I think he's <laughs> demonstrating. Oh, yes! <laughs> if there's a guy that wants to entertain in this game, Magic's the lead man. Jordan comes in. You wonder if he's going to... Match Magic, shot for shot. Seven points for Jordan, seven for Magic. And now Magic comes back again. Just doing what I do best. <laughs> Showtime. I can do anything better than you. Mikhail posting up against Chambers. Here's Magic pushing it up again with 4.35 to go in the first. Worthy swoops in. And Drexler tries to keep it alive, and he does sufficiently for the West to get a foul. Enjoy Magic Johnson. Here's your give. Bring it back. Lay it up and in. 
At the other end, Michael made a great move. Now watch Magic come on the spin move and lay the ball up. He's saying right now, look, Michael, you can match me. But then again, remember, I'm the point guard on this team, and I'm going to execute at the other end. Foul is on McHale. Here's Tom Chambers. He's in there along with David Robinson. Our first look at David Robinson, the sensational rookie from the San Antonio Spurs. There is Robinson, who has exceeded everyone's expectations so far and leading the Spurs to first place in the Midwest Division. Chris Mullen is also in there. Chambers teamed with Kevin Johnson, his teammate with the Phoenix Suns in the backcourt with Clyde Drexler. Dominique Wilkins and McHale are the forwards for the East. Parrish the center. Reggie Miller in his first All-Star game and Joe Dumars in the backcourt. Miller fires a three. Great outside shooter and the rebound is by Chris Mullen. Drexler lost his foot. Didn't matter. And David Robinson. One of the quickest centers to come along in a long time. Uh, he's just so smooth, and he has the ability to hang and split the defenses and create something, and he makes it look easy. Dumars sandwiched by Chambers and Kevin Johnson. McHale. I heard the foul all the way over here. <laughs> alley -oop doesn't go to David Robinson. Are you auditioning for Earl Strong's number for well, next year? Is that what you're yeah, doing? I want to try 33 years like he did. He's 5-4. They've got the ball. Dominique. And he scores. Dominique, the slam dunk champion, gets his first basket. Here's Chambers. Goes by Reggie Miller. Chambers was the MVP back in 87. He wasn't even on the original roster. He was a late pick, became the hero. Kevin Johnson and Mullen, two on one now, and Parrish commits the foul with 3.16 to go in the opening period. You can't wow. tell me that Chuck Taylor is worried. Is he worried right now? <laughs> you know, I mean, as a coach, you want to win. I remember when Pat Riley lost, you know, four times. He couldn't win, and they say, Pat, when are you going to win as an all-star coach? And I think it got under his skin a little bit. He was so successful in the playoffs. Couldn't win as an all-star, and has won three games. All of them, by the way, in domes. He's won in Seattle, Indianapolis, and Houston. He's never won in an arena like this. Just starting, we're in the first period. The East leads the West, the 40th annual NBA All-Star Game, Miami Arena. For the four successful expansion entries in the league. Joe Dumars hits the three-point basket. Joe Dumars for three for Reggie Miller. Joe Dumars just does what has to be done. You know what I mean? He seizes around, does the defense, gets some boards, makes the passes, hits the open shots. And right now, overplayed Chambers and caused the turnover there. The Time early, out. The early defense stick has really been spectacular. People don't expect to see that kind of defense in a game like this. Two great rookies in David Robinson, who is a superstar, along with Sean Elliott. But then you add in a in a trade a Maurice Cheeks and then also a Terry Cummings, and you have instant leadership and major point production. And then let's face it, one of the best coaches in basketball, Larry Brown. Yeah, last year was his first losing year. Oh! Wilkins defended well. I think Drexler and David Robinson in there. Yes, well Drexler came out of the mezzanine to get that one. David Robinson with a circus move. And it's uh, going to be the East possession. The East leads in the series 25 to 14. And there is bragging rights and there's pride involved between the two conferences as you have in the finals. McHale. Kevin McHale. Kevin McHale from Dubai. Six man again. Remember, he was the top six man and became a starter. Now he's coming off the bench to good success in Boston. Winding down to two minutes to go in the opening period. Drexler is left open. The glide misses from out there. And David Robinson knocks it away. And still in possession of the East. But you saw some Robinson quickness and some Parrish experience running the floor at the other end. I love what Parrish says. This game means a lot to me because I don't see too many left. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's got to appreciate every one of them. David Robinson. Foul going to the hoop. Watch David Robinson on the baseline now go for the steal and the tap. Mullins, if, if an opportunity, the catch was there, you had the nice shot opportunity, possibility. There's David Robinson's very proud parents watching things. You know, even Don Nelson, they tell me, has been known to whisper the name Russell. Talking about David Robinson, a left-hander. A lot of yeah. 
similarities with quickness and shot blocking abilities. No one has ever even whispered that name, but Don Nelson has, I understand, out of Golden State. Well, an awful lot of people thought that he would be a scorer. Uh, they thought that he could uh, rebound, but the shot blocking and the quickness of foot have really surprised and opened the eyes of many people. Foul is on Kevin Johnson. Well, so, well, Kevin Johnson first. Talk about a rookie like Robinson and mention of Bill Russell in any way, shape, or form. That says a lot. Team fouls are four apiece right now. Minute and a half remaining in the opening period. The East leads by nine. I really am impressed with the defense and the aggressiveness of the players there. Parrish, great pass from Dumars, tipped in by McHale. But you know, you say you're impressed by the defense. When you have a Dumars and people like that on, on the floor, you're going to see outstanding defense. David yes, Robinson Kevin. double teamed inside. Chambers. John Chambers. And on the break, the other way. Dominique. That was the replay yeah. from last night. What won it for him? <laughs> That's right. Drexler. Little finger roll action and the rebound by McHale. Under a minute to go in the first period. Dumars. Inside. Thread the needle so beautifully to Robert Parrish, you wouldn't believe. That was on the money with some pizzazz. You're right, complete player. Defense passing, now he scores a lot more. Thrown away by Kevin Johnson, and with 36 seconds remaining in the first quarter, the East has opened up a 13-point lead. West has turned it over eight times in this quarter. 18 on the shot clock. Here's Reggie Miller. And the first Indiana Pacers since Don Boosie and Billy Knight were on the All-Star team 13 years ago. One of the best pure shooters we have in all of basketball today. Not only the uh, three-point shot, but we're talking all-around game and an outstanding foul shoot. Outstanding. Nine on the shot clock. Differential of about a second and a half, maybe two. Now it's four. They're running down. Chambers fouled. And it's going to be Reggie Miller with a foul. And they had two seconds on the shot clock. Downtown Freddie Brown. He knew how to shoot the threes even before they had the threes in this sport, huh? Listen, Freddie would have a number of records if the three-point shot was in when he was playing. Freddie was one of the very few guys in this league who could catch a pass going towards the sideline out of bounds, <laughs> turn in midair, and hit nothing but the bottom of the net. And he wouldn't do it one time a game. It might happen five or six. Exciting player. West has missed six of nine free throws thus far. Combine that with the turnovers, and now you see why they're losing by 15. Now it's a 14-point game. 4.6 seconds to go in the first quarter. Wilkins gets the shot off and hits the three-pointer with one-tenth of a second left, and you know you can't score in one-tenth. <laughs> By the way, was that a set play? <laughs> All right, we had an exciting first period, and the East has rolled out to a 40 to 23 lead. But it's at age 36 or more, and it's a small group, just six players, and Robert Parrish is one of them. We start the second quarter. The East finished on an 18 to 4 run to take their 17 point lead. Dominique Wilkins brings the ball up. He's got Joe Dumars with him, Reggie Miller, Kevin McHale, and Robert Parrish. The same five that finished for the East in the first quarter. Joe Dumars. The screen, Dumars. This group that's on the floor for the East right now, they're knocking down every open jump shot and making it look easy. Rolando Blockman has come in for the West All-Stars. He was a late addition when Carl Malone came up lame. There's Blackman in that corner, and he remembers what happened with Chambers, a late addition. You can be an MVP as an 11th hour guy. Like he said, have suitcase, get packed the sneakers. Very easy. <laughs> he was thrilled to be added to this team. Harris takes Robinson out of his shoes. Well, he's 37 years old, and David will learn that. Yeah, but that, that looked like Robert of old. That he misses the shot right there for the offensive rebound. Now let's see Robinson on the other end. Okay, there's some points inside against Harris. Averaging 23 plus, nearly 12 rebounds. Kevin McHale, and that's a new thing for Kevin McHale. That's absolutely right. It's amazing. He's almost taking one or two a ball game now and making them. Slapped away. That's the ninth turnover against the West. 
Whoever thought we'd ever see Kevin McHale as a long-range bomber? Well, they say you change your game as you get older. Dude. Wilkins around the screen. Kevin Johnson feeds Chambers, his teammate in Phoenix. And he lays it in. This guy is one of the best ever in the game. Tommy Chambers, off the dribble. You have a tendency to forget that he is six foot ten. He handles the ball so well with either hand. Eight points. He's the leading scorer in the game right now, Tom Chambers. McHale. <laughs> Chambers won't let him get three off. <laughs> Look at Chief. Chief said, I'm doing this myself. And basket counts in the foul. I'll tell you, David Robinson did everything he could to move the Chief out, and the Chief got it there. Sky Walker, last year's slam champion of the New York Knicks. The patented Robert Parrish fade away, but watch the arc on this shot. Today's game is being broadcast. Yeah. It's like he wants to play in a few more of these. You know, Joe Dumar's dad has been ill, was intensive care, and he's out. And of course, we wish him well. They're two are very close. He gave him his championship ring to Joe, and he said, "When I made the All-Star team, my dad said, I'm real proud, son. How's your puppy? He's got a new dog at home. He says all I had to hear is." Real proud, son. That's all I needed. That's Joe Dumas. Well, the, the fellow that uh, just admired his athletic talent, Jerry West, being one of the greatest ever, is one of the harshest critics that we have of players today. And when he throws out flowery words like that, you know that you are one of the best in this game. Lafayette Lever of the Denver Nuggets, number 11, has come into the game. Here is David Robinson. And the rebound by Rodman. We have Scotty Pippen and Dennis Rodman. And now we have Elijah Wong from Blackman to score. So the East with some substitutions. Isaiah Thomas back in the game. He's got Pippen, Rodman, Parrish, and Dominique Wilkins. Pippen playing the guard position. Wilkins slices his way in. Get Rodman very nearly made a great play. But the basket anyway to Parrish, who's in double thinking. Yeah, but that exemplifies Rodman. He, he creates so many little things that are not in the final statistics. Blackman going to the basket will get it and will draw the foul. Now watch as this shot goes up. See Rodman, he's coming from behind the backboard, keeps the ball alive, allows Parrish to get the basket. And speaking of Parrish, he sits down, having scored 10 points and two rebounds and a block. Patrick Ewing back in. He was the starter for the East today. Rolando Blackman on the line. Well, we're down in Miami, and you know, many of the Dolphins are going to be here, including their outstanding quarterback, Dan Marino. Just under nine minutes remaining in the first half. Dick Stockton and Yubi Brown here at Miami Arena, 51 to 34. Scotty Pippen. Scotty Pippen. I have to admire the East. They're doing an excellent job. It just isn't one pass and a shot. They're distributing the ball beautifully, making the extra pass. Knocked away by Ewing. And Thomas good control. You know, even though this game right now is a wide margin game, you were telling me earlier you have a different feeling from last year, which was a blowout to this. Right? Well, we're seeing the exciting play. The guys are making shots, but the defense is right up there challenging everything. And you can feel the intensity level. The people here are also are in this game and appreciating the defense. Elijah Wan gets it. Rodman wouldn't let Rodman get the ah! off. It's tipped up and in, however. Let's see who gets credit for that basket. It'll be David Robinson. Dennis Rodman could set a history. If he, a guy ever wins an MVP for his defensive play, that'll be a first in this All-Star. Well, he's the only second-round draft choice in this game and the only NAIA player in this game. Good point. They produce some outstanding players. Mullen gets it ahead of Wilkins. Notice how he used his body to keep Wilkins at bay. Well, that was, that's good two moves to the basket by Chris on the break, and he's played the rim beautifully. He's run the defensive guy right off. Well, that's something that Chris Robin was, that wasn't in the script, was it? All right, in the locker room, we were kidding him before the game. We wanted him to take a three-point shot. We told him no passing today. Every time you touch it, shoot it, so the people have no idea who you are. <laughs> There we have Rodman now with the guy with the quick feet. Look at him smacking around. There he is, moving and grooving. You'd think this was a major playoff game. 
One of only four non-starters ever to make the All-Star game. Devin McHale, John Havlicek, and Bobby Jones, the other three. Michael Jordan has come in for the East. James Worthy for the West. Robinson banging bodies inside. Slapped away, and here's Michael. Rodman had a charge that time. Even for all the people who said, what's Rodman doing in this game? He was picked unanimously by the coaches. Pippen misses oh. three from the corner. So they do appreciate defense and offensive rebounding. <laughs> Lafayette Lieber hits the basket. Oh, Lieber, yeah, by yeah. the way, who always deserves to be in a game like this, failed to finish in the top ten of Western guards in the fans' voting, but the coaches do. Oh, let's say this young man, here he is. He's averaging over eight rebounds a game, and he's a six-foot-two guard at most. Jordan trying for the steal. Here's Elijah Wan baseline against Pippen. Slapped away by Ewing. No place to go. Here we have a real battle. Rodman and Robinson. Watch this. Oh! Get, get him out of there. But uh, where was the charge call? We'll send him to the brig. For <laughs> yeah. That. yeah. You know, there was a lot of controversy over that. Uh, no one argues that Carl Malone's the best power forward. But uh, Pat Riley had the feeling that maybe A.C. Green got shortchanged in, in this whole thing. Well, naturally, he has a very big feeling for A.C. Green. Uh, people for, kind of forget that he's on his second team all defensive team. Plus, he's one of the best rebounders in this game. Oh. And Juwan goes in, and we'll have a foul. In fact, Pat Riley said, he says, I hope that A.C. Green wins the MVP award, and I'm going to do everything I can that he does. Well, when you win as many championships as the Lakers, you have to have intangible people, the guys that do all the dirty work, the rebounders, the defensive people up front, the guys who get all the loose balls. So he has a very, very warm feeling for A.C. Green, and he does not like to have people taking shots at him. Now, we all know, Carl Malone, A, number one, best forward in basketball today, uh, by the players, by the fans, by coaches, by everyone. And you, you know, the other thing is, why? what's wrong with having a guy who never expected to be an all-star, works hard, has the great work ethic as A.C. Green does, and gets the reward? Jordan. Oh. Van Thomas changed hands, and A.C. Green gets the block on the play. Filling the lane, he's got Beaver and Worth. Seem to have position, but you know it's the All-Star game, so we're not going to overdo it with the foul. Oh. And Rodman came in from the right side of the lane, skied, and gets this block. Now watch him looking, Pippen looking for the charge, but watch the block. Here he comes. Jordan tips it out. As far as the personal fouls are concerned, no one on the, the West has as many as two. Kevin McHale is the only player in the game with two personal fouls. Because of the short periods of time that the players play in an All-Star game, the game is played in peaks and valleys. Lever gets credit for a two-point hoop. Leading scorer Robert Parrish is 10 for the East. Chambers leads with eight for the West. Ewing has it blocked by Elijah Wan and Orlando Blackman. Comes back with the jump shot. It's 55-45. They've cut. A lead down to 10, it was 20 for the East. Uh, is Rolando Blackman making a statement that maybe he should have been voted into this game? <laughs> you remember the game he was in when he hit those great free throws in Seattle? Now an offensive foul called. It'll be with Patrick Ewing. So now the West has a chance to uh, come back and make more of a game of this, although it's been really an exciting end-to-end -end affair with, as you pointed out, great defensive plays. We are having an outstanding matchup, Patrick Ewing and Elijah Wan. This is their second time out on the floor, and they've already come up with two beautiful plays. Blackman try to get it into Worthy. Jordan saves, loses. And Worthy couldn't hit the shot inside. It might have cut it to eight. Oh, he turned it. Jordan to run. <laughs> that ought to make every highlight film tonight. Well, as Rodman was uh, motioning to the people in the stands, A.C. Green jumps out of bounds. You'll see this gorgeous pass. Here comes Rodman. There's the dunk. Rodman is showing to the fans. A.C. Green is trying to make the pass, and we have a forced turnover there. <laughs> 440 remaining in the first half. Lieber. Down the middle, Pippen the rebound. Chicago Bulls. 
face Scotty Pippen, the first teammate of Michael Jordan ever to make an all-star team. Worthy. West has had a chance to cut it to eight points with a couple of plays inside. And Jordan travels. How about Scotty on this move? This is Pippen at his best. He's Magic Johnson, one, Larry Bird, one of the great Murphy, Murphy, game today that we have in elevating and dunking. Oh, Doc Lloyd, the great golfer and the man who invented elevating and dunking. Dr. J and Bob Pettit, the only two guys ever to start in 11 straight All-Star games. Ewing comes out to East Green. Lever, short for the three. Let me ask you a quiz here. Who's the only East player who has not scored in the game? Are we going to have prizes? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm going to say uh, uh, the guy that everyone picked as one of the greatest oh, players ever in the game. Ever played the game. Larry Bird. That's right. Isn't that something? He hasn't scored yet. John Stockton John comes back in the game, replacing Lavi and Lever. Stockton feels well enough to move along. He had the virus, the flu. He's in the hospital earlier in the week. Spent most of this weekend in his hotel room. He didn't want to miss the game. A team blocked by Ewing. Tell me this isn't a bad Third block by Ewing, and it's still going to be the West Ball. And you know, there's a little personal battle going on. Elijah Wan has been the kingpin. Of the now Ewing, people talking about MVP award for Patrick. Elijah Wan can't take that sitting down. Well, Elijah Wan is saying, I have been the first team All-NBA center three straight years. You'll see that he's just a shade off in his shooting percentage, and he, it's really bothering him. But he's averaging almost nine assists a game while he's scoring 22 points this year. So he'll do it some way. Elijah Wan misses the rebound by Isaiah Thomas with 3.15 to go in the first half. Well, the great ones, the legends in the game, when their game is off, they make other contributions. Green defending Barkley. Elijah Wan got his hand in there. Okay. Barkley said, I'm going to go up with it. And they're going to have a good ball between Barkley and Akeem. The chief guru of the Los Angeles Raiders. Who knows where they'll be? Oakland. <laughs> Al Davis, and behind him, hello again, everybody. <laughs> now with Joe Sell speaking of sports. You've got the best seat in the house hey, here. Right center court, right in the middle. Looking good. With his lovely wife, Emmy. Magic Johnson posting up Michael Jordan here. Magic has nine to lead the West scorers. There's the hook shot. And Elijah Wan is fouled by Ewing from behind. I asked Magic yesterday when he was practicing the hook shot. I said, you ever hit a big hook shot in a big game? He says, you must be thinking of the ball guy. I said, no, I mean you. And of course, he didn't want to talk about the big game against the Boston Celtics. In the NBA Finals back in 86, game four, remember the baby hook? As long as Magic is on the move coming into the lane, it's amazing the high percentage that he knocks down that hook. It's more difficult when you're in a standing position and trying to do it from a post-up spot. How about how the Lakers are doing without the ball guy, Kareem? Yeah, well, they've shifted, uh, made a little emphasis on posting up uh, a fellow by the name of Erwin Johnson <laughs> and also going to uh, that guy Worthy, the quiet assassin, <laughs> a little bit more. That's right. Charles Barkley. It's Charles Barkley, an assassin in his own right. 61 to 46 to score, less than two and a half to play in the opening first half. Chambers, rebound by Michael Jordan. 20 point lead by the East was cut to 10. Now it's 16. Jordan knew he was going to be short with it. Oh, yeah. Barkley from Jordan. At the end of an All Star game, you want the other players to appreciate. Your all-around ability and passing. Coming right back is Magic. A three-point basket. He's got 12 points. Harris still the scoring leader for the East with 10. He's on the bench right now. Barkley and a great pass by Isaiah Thomas. Charge still. 
Now a turnover. Stockton. He's got Chambers and Drexler. And stripped out of his hands by Isaiah Thomas. Loops it in. Out of the Barkley converts. Stu Jackson, wherever he is sitting right now, almost lost it when he saw that one go up. <laughs> Here you have it. Look at the eyes. Beautiful dish off. Enough said. Yeah. Pat Riley talking to him before in the locker room said, the first two weeks after the All-Star break are going to mean a lot for us with the Lakers. We're playing the majority of games versus teams of over 500 records. Got him next week at the Forum against the Celtics. Chambers. And it was Ewing who made him change his shot. West kept possession nonetheless with seven on the shot clock by Drexler. Here's a key. And the rebound by Ewing. The West has just not got good luck shooting there. Shooting 43%. Now we have 45 seconds to go in the first half, and they'll turn it over to the West. Coming up at halftime, an update on that controversy surrounding that shocking loss by Mike Tyson in Tokyo in that heavyweight fight. Strike. You, didn't, you missed it. It'll be Magic, Johnson Magic Johnson with his second three-point basket. And here comes Magic again with 32 seconds. Get it to Drexler behind the back. Actually, Magic has three three-point baskets. Lead is 13 now by the East. They have the ball. 18 on the shot clock. Seven on the shot clock now for the East, and Bird loses it. Wild pass. West is turning the ball over a bundle 15 times. First half and the period ends, the half ends, an entertaining first half. The East leads, but we have seen a tremendous all-star display. That is the end of the first half with the score. The East 65 and the West 52. Pat O'Brien will be back with the Prudential at the half after this. Without any assist. But Bird is doing so many other things. The extra passes, the good defense, helping out on the boards, etc. It's nice. How about the East centers? Patrick Ewing with six rebounds and three block shots all over the place. And Robert Parrish off the bench with ten to lead the East. Well, Elijah on struggling, only one for eight from the field. But how about the nine rebounds? So these guys, if one isn't working, something else in their game will. Jordan takes the first shot of the second half. Rebound Bird. Thomas. Ewing and the rebound, AC Green. Here's Rolando Blackman who starts the second half along with Magic Johnson at guard. Up front it's AC Green, James Worthy, and Akeem Olajuwon. The West with the same five which started the game. Jordan and Thomas at guard. Bird, Barkley, and Ewing up front. AC Green short with it. Thomas, three on one fast break for the East. It's Barkley. <laughs> Uncontested. Charles has 11 points, and now he is the leading scorer for the East. Lajuan setting the screen. How about this one? How about another? He's got four. Three Magic Johnson for three. Does Irvin Johnson. Remember in the beginning they said he could hit the outside shot? How about Ewing Magic running Ewing. the floor to get the basket? Well, Ewing said, hey, I, I just gave him a three. I'm going down the other end. And everyone looked up the floor. <laughs> nice. You talked to Patrick briefly during the halftime intermission. He is really enjoying himself. Blocks Elijah Wan's shot. Yeah, yeah, I looked at Ewing. I said, you know, you're struggling with your shot. Relax. I said, you two guys are two Brahmas down in that painted area. Relax. Magic. Magic Johnson. He's still coaching Ewing a little bit. Oh, no, no. He doesn't need my coach. As a matter of fact, I might have held him back. 69-57, and the lead is 12. Bird. Yeah. Oh. So that's what Bird's doing instead of scoring. He's making everyone else look good. Jordan is on Magic. That's a good matchup. And Isaiah Thomas. Another West turnover to Larry Bird. And Bird will have a chance to score on the free throw line. 
Look at look at Magic there showing a little facial right down on Zeke. He's taking him down inside. I think they've posted one another up a few times out at out on each other's playgrounds. Here we have Bird. Now watch the last second pass. There it is. Beautiful. Zeke running without the ball. Orlando Blockman on the foul. Here's Larry Bird. May not realize this, but he has attempted the most three-point shots in the history of the All-Star game coming into this game. Well, you know, he's, he, he's uh, struggling on the line. He's only shooting 95% this season on the foul line. And, of course, he's got that big string. 68 in a row. Challenging Calvin Murphy. Akeem saves it into the hands of Jordan and Magic with a very smart foul because he saw the East on a fast break. He committed the foul on Jordan. See, a part of Magic's game, you know, is this three-point shooting. Fine quarterback of the Houston Oilers, Warren Moon. Disappointing finish for them in the AFC this year. You know, for a lot of people who haven't been seeing the Lakers much, you know, he is second in three-point attempts in this game. Oh! Well, maybe number 33 is going to get cooking now. He has scored four points quickly in this third quarter. 17-point lead. David Robinson back in there. This is the baseline. Barkley runs in and they'll call the foul against the defender Worthy. Foul's called on James Worthy. His first, the team's third. Here we have Larry just cruising out there, doing his thing. Little head fake, which he does at his best. And then, little shot, little horse time, maybe. But Charles, on the open floor, Charles just loves to have body contact with people and then decide which way he's going with the shot. Last time he was in Miami, Hubie, he was bumped from his hotel by the President of the United States. He says, why are they bumping me? He's been in the league only one year. I've been in six. <laughs> Bump him. It was down to 12 in the East. He's going on a pretty good run now to open it up to a... 19-point lead. Magic Johnson, who has four three-point baskets, misses that one. Thomas, great pass to Bowie. Patrick Robinson. Patrick got caught with his hands down that time, never thinking that Zeke would give it to him. Oh, yes! Magic! Yes. David Robinson! That's the picture play of the game. See, he's done that a number of times today. That, he gives you those three moves while he's in the air and then comes back to his initial look. And his first assist to the All-Star game. Oh, 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 this one, Thomas, through the legs of a defender to Michael Jordan. How about the bounce pass through three guys? Worthy. Here's Elijah Wong. Jordan him from behind. Hakeem can't believe it. He stripped him from behind. Michael. Four minutes gone by in the third quarter. Four great plays in this one as the East maintains possession with 10 seconds to go here. Check this shot. ball. Check the bounce now by Isaiah. There it goes. Right to the legs. A fantastic backdoor move by Michael Jordan. Now, how about this block coming from the opposite side by Jordan? gentlemen who set the performance for standards on the court and off. Julius, what do you impress most with today? Well, I think Magic Johnson's having a tremendous game. Uh, unfortunately, all the balance is on the eastern uh, side, and uh, unless something dramatic happens, I think uh, we're looking for another eastern runaway. <laughs> and I am a little prejudiced towards the east. <laughs> You've been traveling internationally. What are the prospects for NBA play overseas? Well, I think as we move into the 90s, that the prospects are very, very good. Uh, as you see, the uh, international players who have uh, made it into the NBA, maybe uh, four or five uh, right now, there are plenty of American players abroad. And sooner or later, the door is going to open so that uh, there will be an NBA franchise okay. abroad. I don't know exactly where or exactly when. And if I knew, I probably wouldn't What's say. <laughs> Keep us close. Thank you, Julius. Okay. Back to you, Dick. All right. Thank you, Leslie. Always great to see Mr. Ambassador out there. No basket because of offensive interference on the east side. Now the west trying to cut the deficit, and Akeem is fouled by Patrick Ewing and will go to the line. Excellent move that time by Elijah Wan. See, both of these guys are struggling, Ewing and Elijah Wan on their shot attempts, but they're doing an excellent all-around game. 
Only five players in the league have averaged 20 points and 10 rebounds. And you're looking at one of them on the free throw line right here. Only one for 10 from the field has struggled. That is, you we mentioned, nine rebounds at halftime. Got to give all that credit, though, for the one for nine to Patrick Ewing. He has challenged every single shot opportunity. Barkley given the shot by Elijah Wan. Rebound is by Magic. An 18-point lead for the Eastern All-Stars. Their biggest lead. Oh. Oh. All right. Sort of a rebound off of Ewing. Thomas. Commissioner David Stern cheering Michael Jordan's acrobatics. Hey! And the shot Magic by Magic from Johnson Elijah from Elijah Wan. And Magic has 22 hey, hey, points. He is the game high scorer. Larry Bird buries it. Right now, the East with their 20 point lead, matching their biggest lead of the game. Scoring and pace picking up for a lot of Lockman gets two. Lockman with nine off the bench. You know, we're looking at it. You think, take this Eastern, I mean, this uh, Western team right now with David Robinson and Elijah one out on the floor. And it's interesting that the East has been able to pick it apart and not get hurt at the offensive end of the game. Ewing blocks his fourth shot of the game, fifth shot of the game by David Robinson. And Robinson follows David up Robinson. on the turnover. Good point. You know, everyone thinks you just throw the ball out, and Pat Riley and Bill Burke of the West Lakers said, you know, that's not the case. We want to have some organization because we don't want these guys to embarrass themselves. Want to have an idea of what's going on. Bird. There's Robinson. Well, when you go for the coaching in this kind of a game, you want everybody to have fun, you want them to entertain, but you also want to win the game. Worthy short. West just can't make shots. They've had a lot of opportunities. Behind the back. Thomas tried to deke out David Robinson. Act like he wasn't going to shoot, and there he was. Five and a half to go in the third. Blackman, he's been a hot man. Remember, he only joined the squad when Carl Malone couldn't play, and he has 11 points. Magic is giving us a lot of looks today. He gives you the first fake, the second fake, and then we'll deliver the best. Here's Ewing from outside. There's Magic on the run. See, he knows what this All-Star game means more than any other, I think. A key. Team. Only six four and a half to get it. Yes, yes. And the extra pass by Bird to Ewing. This crowd's loving it. Chuck Daly is loving it. What a great pass by Larry Bird. Some of the greatest expressions are on the bench. Some of the players not in the game. They're loving it. Woo! Worthy misses a left-handed shot. Lead is 18, and Thomas gives it a three-point basket and the biggest lead of the game open up by the Eastern All-Stars. 89 to 68, and timeout called by the West. And here we come. Watch now. Watch Bird give it right back. He saw Patrick coming down the lane. Now Larry Bird had a layup unselfishly. Now watch the block. This is a monster block on a monster player. Charles Barkley. Second to the big O in career assist leadership. Magic Johnson has 22 points, six rebounds, three assists, five titles in the 80s. Five times a world champion in that decade. That's half the decade. You know, you know what he said? He said, I like passing and I like making great passes, except I also like winning. <laughs> Doesn't he? Know? Chambers misses. Joe Dumars back in the game with Reggie Miller. New faces on both squads. Parrish and McHale, two of the Celtics, and Joe Dumars has hit a three-point basket. Barkley on the bench with 12. He's the leading scorer for the East. John Stockton in the backcourt with Drexler, David Robinson, Blackman. David Robinson from Chambers. And Chambers, so two members of the Phoenix Suns. You know, this guy with the ball is two for two and three, so Dumars. Parrish, 10 points in the first half. Double team. Pass goes behind, and the backcourt violation will turn it over to the West. So, 
Stockton and Blackman are in the backcourt. Drexler playing a forward position. And now that Blackman leaves, Lever will come back in. So they're using Clyde Drexler up front with Robinson and Chambers, the West team. Dumars has Reggie Miller in the backcourt, and Wilkins, Parrish, and McHale up front, although Wilkins also plays down. Drexler trying to drive the baseline. They'll call Dominique with the foul. Three twenty-seven remaining. We're in the third quarter. Ninety-one to seventy. The biggest lead of the game. Twenty-three points just a moment ago. And Parrish will get hit by a ball. You know, earlier they ruled the three-point basket was changed to a two-point basket by Isaiah Thomas. Scoops it in. I know you're, uh, you know, you've already talked about what Chambers means, and I know that uh, when you talk about players, you say a lot more about Chambers. I think he impresses you a lot more than you. Well, I think he is the real catalyst behind what they've done in the Phoenix Suns in the last two years. They know that he can oh, get 35 or 40 in any big game and do it in the end of the game. McHale finally converts. Lead is 21. Chambers firing for three. And Reggie Miller said, I just want to score one basket so someday I can tell my kids I did that in an All-Star game. Yeah, but he's got to be in a few more All-Star uh -huh. games after this one. I'm sure of that. Two and a half to play in the third quarter. Go, 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 go. Well, on the Atlantic Division, the New York Knicks have a two-game lead. The surprise team without question, the Philadelphia 76ers. Boston with Bird back this year, a game behind Philly, and then the have-nots follow. What about the Knicks? How good can they be? How far can they go And Philadelphia? Too? Well, I think that the Knicks, they have the best shot at winning this division. I know Philadelphia is on their heels. Boston is going out on a brutal eight-game West Coast trip with everyone having winning records. But the Knicks' big thing is going to be what's going to happen with P.J. Vandeweghe in this next week of practice and see if he can make a contribution in the second half of the year. Lafayette Lever with Miller in his face. And out. Just hasn't dropped for the West whenever they've had the opportunity. Wilkins can't save it. And the other thing, of course, recently there was a story. Rod Strickland said he wanted to be traded. He and Mark Jackson, the dual point guards. But, you know, the Knicks aren't going to make a deal just because a, a guy wants to be traded because they've got something going there. No, guys. but, uh, you know, he came back in the next uh, few ball games, made an excellent contribution, played 28, 29 minutes, and that's what it's all about. They have the luxury of two excellent point guards in Mark Jackson and Rod Strickland. Why should they give one up? Under two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Yes. You said yes because you saw Drexler under the hoop and Stockton knows how to get him the ball. Well, he has such outstanding court vision. You know, you just don't win that good hands award for assists and steals minus turnovers unless you have a complete game and a great game of vision. Kevin McHale hits from outside. He has 11 points. Barkley with 12 is a leading scorer and a whole host of players right around that total point. Tom Chambers comes in now, and he's got 12 points. Magic with 22 is the leading scorer for the Western Stars. He's on the bench right now. That was a beautiful pass by Clyde Drexler. Robinson on Dumar's errant pass. Stockton. His teammate. It's always good to have your teammates. And speaking of teammates, you're looking at three Lakers on the bench enjoying it. Well, you know, when you have the great point guards that are unselfish, you love to watch them in the open floor because they make the easy pass. Wilkins draws the foul. You'll see now that they're, they're, they're going to come out of this with a fast break opportunity. Now watch Stockton's head. See, he picked up Chambers right away, and he just looked off the defense by continuing to put his head to the left side of the floor because he knew he had Chambers running hard to his right. Dominique Wilkins, what about the Atlanta Hawks? They have to be considered one of the disappointments thus far. Well, they have to, but then again, you must remember, they've lost Doc, uh, Doc Rivers, their outstanding point guard, the other starting guard, John Battle. They've lost contact with the knee surgery, a seven-foot starter at big forward for them for a while. You know, these, these things take their toll because the old story is people underestimate 
the value of playing with good guards when you have oh, outstanding oh, talent Mikhail. up front. Sabres will go to the line and the third foul against, against McHale. Field. Ewing and McHale each have three. It's a colorful array of warm-up jackets as we look along the East Bench. You know, one of the great things, of course, are the colors. And, you know, in the game they wear set all-star uniforms, but when they come out for the warm-ups, they wear the, their own teams. And it's great to see the Kelly Green and the red and the blue and the white of the Pistons. Chambers looking for his 16th point of the game, and he's got it. 98 to 80, an 18 point lead with just about a half a minute remaining in this third quarter. Dick Stockton and Hubie Brown, along with Pat O'Brien and Leslie Visser. Hope you're enjoying this All Star. Oh. Parrish couldn't handle the behind the back from Dumars. And Chief wanted that one. He just apologized to Joe running down the floor. He said, Oh, he, he just grimaced. <laughs> Drexler in three-point territory, hits it. By Drexler for three. In the fourth quarter, you're gonna see the guys on the court who have played the best. You know for Pat Riley, he wants to make a run. He still feels he's got a shot at doing it. And in a game like this, you can. Five seconds to go, Wilkins. Nice. In the air, hits the bucket. Dominique Wilkins. He's got 11 points. Six players in double figures for the East. That's the end of the third quarter with the score. The East 100 and the West 83. And we'll return to the 40. For the fourth quarter, Michael Jordan will start this on the bench. Jordan has scored 11 points. Lafayette Lever and Kevin Johnson with the ball in the backcourt for the West. Up front, Tom Chambers, David Robinson, and Chris Mullen. David Robinson, 15 points for the rookie from San Antonio. He's having a fine rookie all-star affair. Talk about a guy who's going to be a perennial. Reggie Miller comes right back. Reggie Miller. Reggie Miller. Umars and Miller guard. Kale, Parrish, and Wilkins. Good defense by East. Lieber gets through inside. A little overplay, though. Now that's Fat Lieber at his best. He's outstanding once he gets down into that lane area. Challenges all the big people. Dominique. Rebound. Lieber. There's a 6 3 guy who gets a whole host of rebounds. Chambers finds room, goes to the basket, gets the foul. They know he's coming. He scores and also gets hit. Yeah, but you know, an awful lot of people can't tell whether well, Tom Chambers is left handed or right handed on the break because he dribbles with either hand, he shoots with either hand, and he's a contortionist at 6 10. He gets in there, degree of difficulty very high on the majority of his shots. That's the fourth personal foul on Kevin McHale. And the three point play cuts the lead to 12. That's the closest the West has come here in the third quarter. They had it down to 10 earlier in the game. The biggest lead was 23 for the East. They have an 11 game edge in the series. Mikhail, the ball is dropped to the rebound by David Robinson. Chance to cut it down to 10. Lever does, and a 10 point game. 102 to 92. You can see it now. The West bench, everybody's a little excited. But all-star games, peaks and valleys, highs and lows. This unit doing an excellent job in bringing them back. Don't forget, you got a, three Lakers waiting there on the bench when Riley needs them. Harris. Yeah. 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 Didn't have total control, but gets that ball up anyway. Chris Mullen. Harris clears it. Two minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. The lead is 12 for the East. Next year's game will be played in Charlotte. Charlotte, like Miami, two of the four expansion entries. Dominique Wilkins goes baseline. Every time the West makes a game of it, the East comes back strong with a couple of baskets and traveling. Call against Tom Chambers, no hoop. Tough call. Tommy really down on that one. Got blasted right in the eye. And along with it, the shot went down. 19 points for Chambers. That did not count. Now watch this. Watch how he got. You see, he put it on his hip, good to travel, got hit, and then laid it up with a reverse spin. 
Wasn't very pleased with that. <laughs> Paul Silas, another hit man behind him, one of the great offensive rebound rounders of all time. Buster Douglas with the win over Tyson last night, huh? Still stunned over that. Movie, huh? Well, Buster dominated, and anyone who saw the fight, uh, the young man just fought a perfect fight for an underdog. Scotty Pippen in the game. Chicago Bull gets open. Chambers and a loose ball foul called against Robert Parrish. There's Paul Silas. He doesn't have to take a back seat to anyone, even Tommy Hearn, so he gets center stage here. Silas. Doing an excellent job as an assistant with the New York Knicks, Knicks now, and uh, doing a good job with the front court people. The alley-oop, and I tell you, Pippen seemed to move David Robinson way out of that area. We're in the fourth quarter. The East has led virtually all the way. The West had a early lead. Biggest lead was five at seven to two, and then the West just took over. The East has made it. The East has, and the West has made a couple of runs. Dumars misses. The rebound inside by Rodman. He loses it to Mullen. West has come back a few times. Cut the lead to 12 or 10. That's all. Mullen runs into a stone wall, and now the East again. Well, you know, they're forcing up an awful lot of bad shots right now. And when, they, when you close the gap like that in the game, what you're trying to do is get a high percentage shot. Parrish over David Robinson. Robert, Robert Parrish with 14 points, and he is the leading scorer for the Stars. They have six men in double figures. West has four, led by Magic's 22. Main thing you want for all both coaches will tell you everyone to play and then you want to go with the hot hands. Chambers. Chambers has been one. He has 21 points, one behind Magic's total. Chambers and the Chief, Robert Parrish, are both putting together very quietly very, very big numbers there. And now with four minutes gone by, the letters MVP have to start to loop a little bit. He's got a long way to go. Kevin Johnson scores. So there's only one player in the game who has yet to score, and that's AC Green. There you're looking at the leading scores. 108 96, the lead is 12. Still plenty of time for the West to come back. They're playing a little three man now, one side, of course, so that Mikhail can post up. Robinson wins the fight over Paris this time for the rebound. They can cut it to 10. Lever for two, and he's got it, and it's a 10 point game again, 108 to 98. And we're going to see Magic Johnson and Kim Elijahwan check back in shortly for the Western All-Star. West won last year. Robert Parrish was determined to pick Kevin Johnson. It was like at the rodeo where he used the last time. Right? <laughs> Watch Parrish said he could pick there right now. And now he's grabbing Kevin Johnson to post them up. He's smelling the deuce. And Kevin Johnson says, Chief, you're not going to get a pass. <laughs> Because I got you wrong. So Elijah Wan and Magic come in. And Michael Jordan gets a rise out of the crowd as he gets off the Eastern bench. Dennis Rodman. The power. Held him inside and uh, held him, got the ball. Michael Jordan will replace Joe Dumars. By the way, what a guy before his time had so many skills. Uh, he dominated the league at that time, and then when he came into the NBA, he made the first team all NBA uh, when he was playing for Phoenix with uh, Cotton. Oh, yeah, 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 you know, it's just a shame that he only played in the NBA for nine years, and he put together the stats that he did. But he was really the first of the high wire racks that held the basketball like it was a baseball in his hand. <laughs> That he did. Ten point game. Michael Jordan in there. This is the shot. Out of bounds. It's still going to be East Ball. By the way, Jordan is averaging 21.5 in the All Star game, and that's the highest average of anyone. You know what I like about the comment by Hawkins? That Michael's ability to dunk in the half court game. That is so difficult to do. Yeah, traffic. Yes, indeed. McHale. He has hit a big shot every time the West has made a run. Kevin with 13 points. 110 to 98. Plenty of time left in this one. Here's Magic left wide open. Mullen. Elijah Wan tapped it out to Chris. 
Jordan clears. The West had a couple of chances there, but the East, you know, the East has outdunked the West 11 to 6. Those, that should be a stat in the All Star game <laughs> dunks. The West just having difficulty all four quarters with the open jump shot. Kale turn around. Elijah won. The rebound out. And now, Matt Lieber. Magic. Behind the Mullen. Kevin Johnson made a great play, but they come up empty. We're halfway through this fourth quarter. The 40th All-Star game here in Miami. Michael Jordan. He's going more to the three-point basket, although he was came up empty yesterday. He's got 13 points in this game. Here's Lieber. A team in traffic. Great move. Terrific hesitation. Allowed Parrish and Rodman to commit themselves for the block. Took his time. But you know, it's, it just seems that every time the West misses an easy opportunity, the East makes it. Michael Jordan. He may be on an MVP run of his own right now. A couple of years ago in Chicago, scored 40 points. Now, the question of who's the star of stars. Start stand of the picture of this game. Lever is fouled on baseline and is not going to be an easy decision for sure. As you pick up this replay, now watch how Michael Jordan comes down in. You know, he's being defended by a good but Kevin Judge. And then the little spin move and how easily he came out of it for the shot. Now here we have two guys right now. You know, neither one of them wants to fall on the other. Well, Having well, a little well, chat, well, saying, you know, well, do we have a shot here? What do you think, well, Magic? <laughs> Rolando Blockman replaces Kevin Johnson. And Michael Jordan now, with 15 points, is moved in front as the Eastern scoring leader. For years, this player on the line is uh, never gets his due. And I'm talking on a national level. Here's a fellow who's only like six foot two legitimately. He averages over eight rebounds. Some years, nine rebounds. rebounds. There are many centers and big forwards in this league who do not average this. And then he gets you to 20 some odd points and makes the big plays. Bird shadowed by Clyde Drexler. Barkley gets the rebound. Here's Magic, three on one, leaves it for Elijah Wan. Blackman finally scores. But on balance, you'd have to say that the East All-Stars, the lead is cut to 10, really played better than the West as a team. Offensive rebound, loose balls, things like that. Shh, we still have four minutes here. Well, but they have to this point. Here's Ewing, one across the lane. Ewing now in double figures. You know, on that extension of that shot, it looked like he was shooting down. Ewing might have gotten a piece of that one. Drexler. Lever for three. Drexler of the Trailblazers. Magic is hit. Four three point down. Elijah Wan is fouled by Patrick Ewing going in. And now, Dick, very quietly, Clyde Drexler well, well, has beaten Patrick a number Ewing. of people off it's the dribble here today. Sport. And instead of forcing the shot, he has dropped Patrick off. Ewing. Some very, very nice passes to people. No, no pizzazz, no flash, just meat and potatoes. Elijah Wan leading the NBA in rebounding and block shots. He's had a fine rebounding game today. Wings one out of two. He has 13 rebounds today. Well, if you're looking at possible MVPs, you're thinking about who's done what. Michael Jordan with 17 points and five steals yeah, has to be a candidate. Robert Parrish with 14. He's on the bench right now. And Ewing with 10 points and five block shots. Well, by Lafayette Lever, the West with two prime candidates in Magic Johnson and Tom Chambers, but they're trailing. But they're down by only nine now. We get down to three minutes to go in this game. Thomas has just come in the game. This is the rebound by Elijah Wan. And he overthrows Rolando Blackman. 
Timeout with 2.56 remaining. Plenty of time, only nine. One of the premier greats out of your alma mater, Syracuse, 12 years in the league, 20 points plus a year. He was the first of the greats on the Syracuse campus, that's for sure. Barkley, blocked by Magic Johnson. Burr takes it away from Lieber. Oh, yes! What a great sequence there. Ewing gets the basket. Terrific sequence. Blackman hits a three. No, a two-point basket now. They said that he was in front of the line. 118-109 with 2.20 to go. Barkley gets the bucket. Charles Barkley now with 14 points. Not only did Charles shoot that over his man, but he had Elijah one coming and extending. Two minutes looking remaining. for a big block. Two minutes, Two minutes remaining in the 40th All-Star game. 120 to 109, the East leading. Blackman. That would have been a two. He was in front of the line again. One of the few shots that he's missed. Bird. This is a three. And now the West coming back. They may have to be in a position to go for three-point shots soon, but they won't afford the turnover, and the East maintains their control and poise in this one. What about MVP? Who comes to mind right now as a candidate? Well, I think when we look at the uh, Eastern team, we have Parrish, uh, we have Ewing. Uh, How about that guy? Oh, <laughs> well, why not? I mean, uh, he's a candidate any time, any night, in any arena. Got 19. <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Is number three. I mean, he doesn't have points, but he has rebounds, intimidation, blocks, great defensive plays. He's really playing a, a terrific game today. I think he set the tone early. Yes, he did. He went right after Elijah. <laughs> Drexler is fouled by Ewing. Let's appreciate this. This, this is really beautiful. You had the shot block. Watch Bird drop it off here. Now you'll see we have a little scramble. Right, Larry Drexler picks it up, great two. pass. Break. Now watch Ewing, here he comes. There it is. Just cleaning up around here today, this guy Patrick Ewing. 12 points, 10 rebounds, and five block shots. Those are pretty tough numbers. Two free throws from like we say, right. there are other facets of this game other than points. Right. No, Ewing has proved that today. Bird behind Jordan. Thomas for a three. Half the buzzer and goes. It's only fitting that the East should end the game with that kind of a shot. It's the way they've played all day, making the extra pass and then hitting the base. The rebound by Olajuwon. He's planned to play a lot of minutes. Lever from the corner, but it's academic now as far as the final result. Hakeem with 16 rebounds, but the East Came out with a 17-point lead after one quarter. Cut to 13 at the half and raised it to 17 again after three. The game is over. Ah, Barkley hits it off the buzzer and it counts. <laughs> that is the way to end an All-Star game. It's over and it was indeed a terrific show. The Eastern All-Stars have won it 130 to 113 and even a losing coach can force a smile and maybe Pat Riley needs a domed arena to win an all-star game <laughs> here we have Charles milking the clock he's watching it up there seeing it time down on the release what do they say cross the T and dot the eyes Barkley wound up with 17 Jordan led the East with 19 for the West magic 22 Tom Chambers 21 and a spectacular finish to a spectacular show as it always is. And the players head to their dressing room and 
Question is, who will be named the most valuable player of this game and go down in history? We'll be back to find out who the MVP is as the East beats the West, 130 to 113. I never thought that I would win it. So many great players, so many guys had excellent uh, games. And uh, I think that uh, I'm just here. I was here to have a good time, to try to give the fans a show. And um, I think we all did that. But uh, for me to win it, this is like uh, a dream come true. And um, I'd just like to thank everybody who voted for me. Now, I know you inside, you are burning because you lost the game. <laughs> Definitely that. Uh, they got out on us on a 20-point lead, and it was hard to come back. But we made a run over it at the end, and they got a couple offensive rebounds to put the game away. But uh, sometimes it's not about uh, winning because a game like this, just to be here, you won. And I think that everybody, the fans, it's a great weekend. Miami, uh, the, the uh, they did a beautiful job. The city of Miami just really went all out. And I think that uh, we all had a good time. And I, that was the most important thing. And I hope that all the kids here in Miami uh, got a chance to see their favorite hero or their favorite star, and that they, they can grow up to be the next Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, or whoever they want to be in this game. Anything you want to say to your parents who are behind you here? Well, you know, everything I do, I always dedicate to them because without them, I wouldn't be here or I wouldn't be the man or the person that I am. So to my mom, I guess this is yours. Uh, you are my MVP and I love you. Mm. <laughs> what do you think of that? Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I just love it. Just love it. You taught him basketball. You did a pretty good job, sir. <laughs> I, I can't take that credit. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Magic. Congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. Magic Johnson is this year's MVP of the 40th annual NBA All-Star Game. Let's go back to Dick Stockton. All right, thank you very much. And the last time a player from a losing team was named MVP of an All-Star Game, 10 years ago, George Gervin won that honor. We'll be back.